What's really going on guys? Welcome back to another episode here. Uh, I'm Eddie and you're watching Stay True to the Flavor. For today's menu I am making some delicious beef and broccoli that takes no time at all really. About 10 minutes prep time and cook time. You're done. Stay tuned. Okay for some beef and broccoli. Need some beef. I've got some Angus USDA choice. Some broccoli. I'm going to be using some garlic, some onion, and some ginger. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is come in some nice slices of beef. I'm going to take this beef and I'm going to cut it at an angle. I guess I should take some of this fat off of it. Clean it up a little bit. Just like that. Okay, so once I have my beef sliced in, I'm gonna go ahead and marinate it for a little bit, for about maybe 20 minutes. You could do it longer. This is um, baking soda. I use one and a half. And then some cornstarch. I'm gonna use one big one like this of cornstarch. I did a little bit more. What that's gonna do is help the tenderize the meat. Cornstarch will help thicken the sauce as well. I'm gonna use some low sodium soy. Not that much. And a couple little squirts of sesame seed oil. I'm gonna make sure. Well, we like this next one. Toss this around. Make sure everything's covered up. Everything has some seasoning on it, some flavor. Okay, so now I just want to get my broccoli ready. I don't really like the stem. Too thick. Broccoli all. Cut up, I cut the stems to thin slices. Okay, let's make some sauce. I'm using some oyster sauce, Keiko Mine brand. You could use whatever flavor you like, whatever brand you like. Should be good enough. To that, I'm gonna add a little bit of soy. About a, maybe half a tablespoon or teaspoon, I should say. And a little bit of white wine, Chinese white wine. And I'm gonna add about uh, half a tablespoon of chicken bouillon, chicken flavor, chicken powder, whatever you wanna call it. Give that a good mix. And it's pretty thick. So to that, you wanna dilute it with some water. Get this nice and mixed up. Okay, so I got my water almost to a boil, not a rough simmer, a high simmer, I should say. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop my broccoli in. Just wanna cook this for about a minute. I still want it to be crunchy, but I don't want that raw flavor, the raw taste of broccoli. I am going to introduce it back to the heat later on when I'm doing the broccoli. I mean, excuse me, the beef. Must be hungry. Okay, that's good right there. I'm going to go ahead and stop the cooking process by adding it to some ice water. So what I have here is some garlic, my ginger, a small white onion, and some green onion. I'm just going to... That. 
white onion and green onion are done. And what I'm going to do is just grab my ginger and grate it. And I'm going to also grate my, my garlic. Okay, you want to have your skillet, your wok, whatever you're using hot. I'm going to be using and some grapeseed oil. It's mild, not that much. And to that, I want to throw in my white onions. Caramelize these just for a little bit, give them some color. Again, you can leave the onion out if you like. I like the onion in it. That's pretty good right there. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and throw in my ginger and my garlic. And it was grated, so it was pretty fine, so it would burn fast. But what I want to do is go ahead and throw in my meat. So one side of the meat and so it turns to brown a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and toss my toss it before my garlic and my ginger try to burn. Now if you don't like ginger or you don't have ginger, leave it out to use garlic, but definitely have to have garlic. Okay guys, here's my beef and broccoli bowl. Let's taste that beef. But first, you know what I gotta do. Dear Lord, my Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for everything you do, everything you have done. Lord, I ask that you bless this meal, bless my family, bless my subscribers, Lord, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Don't gotta be long, short, and sweet, just like me. All right, let's go. Oh, that beef. Mm-hmm. Mm. Tender. Broccoli. Mm-hmm. Mm. Soaked up some of that sauce. Still crunchy, but don't have that raw flavor to it. 
and delicious. Well, again, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Like always, make sure you pray for those meals and uh, stay true to that flavor. Till next time.